This is Papa here, Lester's dad. Ellie's grandpa. This here, some people call it a bee trap. It's a box that you put in the woods and you can bait it with some things that bees like. And when a swarm is looking for a new home, when a swarm is just excess bees from a colony somewhere in these woods that has run out of room and a queen will take half the bees and they'll search for a new home. And you set these boxes up and it provides them a home and these can come along later and take them from this box here and put them in a real hive where they're protected and cared for and it not only will pollinate all of our crops you can uh, harvest some honey Uh, bees have been on a decline in recent years and some think it's because of uh, pesticides as you can see they're coming and going they seem to be pretty friendly little bees they're not they're not Africanized bees for sure uh, in the wild Bees live mainly in, in hollow trees, and when they run out of room, you know, in the spring, the queen starts laying lots of eggs, sometimes over a thousand a day. And when they begin to hatch, they run out of room. And the only thing to do is to take half of them and move out. And that's what we see has happened here. They're looking for a new home. They found this, we call it a trap, but it's not a trap. They don't have to come here. And they can leave if they want to. But they evidently like it. So we'll take them and we'll put them into a box. A regular hive. And I'll try to show you in a few days uh, when I do that. I'll try to video it so you can see how it, how it works. Okay, folks. Here's Papa again. Uh, today... I'm going to attempt to take these bees out of this temporary box and put them into a hive. And uh, you can see there's quite a few, quite a few bees here. A little bit of smoke to kind of calm them down in there. And uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. Now these bees have come here from a wild cavity somewhere in a tree and built their home. And they do that when they run out of room. They do that when they run out of room in their cavity in the woods and they'll look for a new home the old queen they'll hatch off a new queen and she'll take half of the half of the bees and they'll go out and look for them a new home and that's what they've done here and we're going to try to get them down from there You know, if you get to them when they first get in here, when they first come here, it's, it's called a swarm. And they leave at the main hive. And uh, scouts come out and they find this place. They go back and tell the other bees. I know it sounds silly, but they do it. And uh, when they swarm, this is where they'll come. All right, you'll see what I'm talking about here. A little bit of smoke, calm them down. See what I'm talking about? Okay, we're gonna set that right here for the time being. 
I'm going to show you something here in this, in this hive. These are some really heavy, heavy duty working bees. You see these frames here? This here, brown here, is bees. Brown caps are, those are baby bees. This white around the edge is honey. I'm just gonna put it in this box right here, something like that. These others into this box before I put, uh, you guys need to get back in there. Okay. This is what you call shake them in here, okay? That's just old cone. And I'll save that too. Why don't you look at the bees that's in this box here? I don't know if you can see them or not. There's a lot of bees in this box. Look at them on the back of it. Look at them. Look at them. A lot of bees. Okay. Now, that queen goes in there. They know she's in there. They'll go to her. They'll go to her. Okay. Okay. Just watch them for a second. I'm going to put this one in here. It's an old one. They'll add to it. See this right here? Show you some artistic work here. Now, these bees will reconnect this. It's the biggest piece. There's no eggs in it, but it's comb when they can they'll put they'll put eggs in it. Okay, they will put eggs in it. If you rubber band it in like this right here, they will attach it all the way around. They will attach it, okay? I'll put one more just for that little place there. Come on out of there. Here we go. Gloves you a little, little sweaty or a little wet with honey or whatever. They don't want to get like that. I'm going to put this right down in this other frame right here. Real gentle so you don't mess them up. Okay, here we go. There's 10 frames in there. Now I'm going to take a bee brush, it's a brush, it's, it's real soft, it's real soft, I try to sweep them back in there before I put the top on them, real soft little brush, just like jelly, putting peanut butter on something, okay? Now, same way back here. Now I'm going to put them up on this box, up on this barrel. That's what the barrel's for. There are going to be a lot of bees, if you look already. See all these bees? Those bees are looking for their house. Their house is down here. It's kind of hard to work and talk. When a colony fills up, it gets too crowded because the queen starts laying over a thousand eggs a day in the spring. It don't take long and that colony is full. 
when they get full, they can't expand. There's nowhere to put food or honey or babies. Then the old queen will lay a, they'll make a new queen and she'll take half that colony. It'd be thousands of bees and they'll leave. And they'll look for a new home. I put these boxes up like this and I capture a lot of them. And I can give them a good home, but I can take care of them and help them out. They start running out of space, I'll add another box. Uh, in the winter time, if I need to, I'll feed them a little bit. But normally they're okay on their own. But I will monitor and make sure they're doing okay. Now, if they didn't come to this box, they would end up in another hollow tree somewhere, or maybe somebody's attic, <laughs> or a hole in the wall, and we create problems there. There's been a decline on bee, decline of bees, and uh, bees pollinate the biggest percentage of our food. Most of the things we buy in the grocery store, at some at some point, uh, food cross paths with a bee, with a honeybee.